For which you've been on the wrong end, the right end, some last minute goals of late. What was the mood in the dressing room after that uh, horrible defeat down the maiden here? Yeah, all the boys and well, everyone around the place was really low to be honest. It was um, we played the Barrow game, and we got a great last minute winner, and we really wanted to kick on, but the performance the other night just just wasn't there. And obviously going down there and losing one, and it was just devastating for the boys um, and everyone associated with the club. Really, is it hard to put your finger on why you, you can't get those consistent results? There's a lot of a lot of aspects all over the team, really. I mean, we're not scoring as much as we should do. We're not keeping as many clean sheets as we'd like to. We look at all the goals we've conceded, and we all take responsibility that we could do better there. So, I think once we we get that first goal, we can build on that in a game. But because it's not been happening, and then it's getting later into the second half, people are getting anxious and that, and then we're getting hit with sucker punches. So, I couldn't put my finger on it, but we just need to start really putting chances away and keeping clean sheets again. You talk about getting anxious and um, not pointing fingers at the, the people further up the field, but there is the more pressure on the defence because there aren't any goals coming further forward? Naturally there is. With any team, if you, if you don't score, then you have to keep a clean sheet to get a result. Um, so I think as the game's going on and we haven't scored, that's when perhaps we might lose a little bit of shape because we're forcing things and trying to score. Um, but it's not just the strikers, midfielders, defenders. We've all got to chip in with goals. We get enough set pieces in the box. Corners, free kicks, we all need to be putting there, uh, chipping in more goals. What do you think it is that's missing from last season? Because it's largely the same group of players playing the same formation most of the time as well. Yeah, I think it is. Like I say, if we, if we score after, say, 15, 20, 25 minutes, I think then we'll go on to score two or three because we're just that type of team. But I just said it a few times then, because we're not scoring, it's getting into, into the second half and then we want to win every game. So we're perhaps coming a little bit off the plan and going and doing things and getting caught. So I think it's just once we once we do score, then we can build on that. But it's just not happening for us at the moment. Uh, never a good time to have a different spell, but if there ever there was, is, is it the start of the season? <coughs> you've still got you know, so many games to to make up ground. Yeah, well, even now we've had, we've had a terrible start for our standards, and we're looking at the table and we're looking at the capability of the group. I know we've been saying that for a few weeks now, but. Nobody's running away with it. We get back-to-back -back wins, all of a sudden we're up in the top five places. So we need to focus now on getting results. How it, how it comes, it doesn't matter. We need to get, get results, get in that top half of the table and build on that. Yeah, it's, it's the kind of, to coin a phrase, if it goes in off someone's backside, then at least yeah. it's three points just to get you going. Yeah, definitely. And them type of things aren't happening for us at the moment. That happens in football. Um, but I think regarding the other night's game, we do need to start creating a little bit more and all of us chipping in with goals. How disappointing is it that you haven't been able to kick on because you've had had those three wins and not been able to back them up yet? Really frustrating. Everyone around, I mean, I know the fans get frustrated, but as players and the all around the club, the coaching staff, we're really frustrated and it's, it's devastating for us because we know the capability within the group and we all want to do well, um, but that's gone now. We have to look, look forward and uh, concentrate on the Saturday's game. You mentioned that no one's running away with it yet. Do you still have confidence that you can get back up towards first, second, third place? One hundred percent. I mean, I think within the group, we know that. I know we've had some poor results of late, but we get back to back wins. We'll be right up there, and then teams will start looking at us and thinking, right, these are these are a good team. Because um, I know a few lads from other other teams. They said the way that we're playing, we're doing all right. We're just not scoring the goals at the moment. Once we start doing that, we're going to be a force. Just looking back at last season, there was times when uh, you went on like a run of winning one and seven, then there was a run in December when you lost three out of four, but after that spell, you went on to win eight and ten, and you went on one towards the ten of the year where you only lost one and thirteen. Do you think it is a case of doing something like that where you can get yourself on a, on a good little run? Definitely. We'll, we, we will get, and eventually we will go on a good run. It's just a matter of time. I think we just need to, like I said before, if we score goals in, in that first 20-25 minutes, I think we're going to win two or three or four in the game. And that's what we were doing last year. We were scoring first and then we were, we were building on that and the confidence thing and people were then chipping in. I mean, I think I got four goals in six games, so <laughs> everyone was chipping in, in the, at that period last year. So it will come. How important would a winner absolutely be when you think about the game? How will we have to... 
Yeah, well, we'll just look at that Ebsolute game for now. We won't think about the Wrexham game until the Ebsolute game's out of the way. So we're, we're focusing now solely on making sure that we do everything we can to get three points Saturday.